In this video, I'll be going over how we sign agency clients without sending outreach messages. And obviously, we send outreach for our own agency and we sign clients like that. But what I'm finding is that the non-outreach methods are actually performing better than the outreach ones. So I want to quickly share what I'm doing for myself, my own agency, what I recommend for my clients and how you can do the exact same for yours. So if your goal is to grow your agency, if it's to really scale up, then make sure you watch till the end because I'm going to outline exactly what I'd recommend for you and how we're doing this for ourselves. So if you don't know who I am, my name's Ethan Walby. I'm founder of ETL Digital. We partner with established marketing agencies to help them build out client acquisition machines. So I want to start by sharing how I do it currently. So fundamentally, outreach is just a way to get attention and to show people our offer. That's it at the end of the day. So if they think the outreach is valuable and they trust you, they'll take action and book the call. If they don't think so, then they won't. So if this is the case, if outreach is just getting attention and showing people our offer and building trust, then we want to get as much attention as possible and build as much trust as possible. So if we want to do that, then content is really the best way to do it. Because if I can create one piece of content, it takes me 10 minutes, but I can reach thousands of my ideal prospect every single day, you know, that's leverage. That's how you can really scale up. So what I started doing was I posted content on LinkedIn every single day and I started doing this a few months ago and it's really, it's really changed my business completely. And now I've transitioned to YouTube as well and it's already booking you know, one to four meetings every single week. And the thing with this is you can put one unit of energy in, right? Take a couple of hours to you know, make a YouTube video, but it can be seen by thousands and thousands of people over months without you having to do anything. And that's leverage and that's how you can really scale up. So I want to give a quick story to actually illustrate this because before I started creating content, I'd get onto calls, you know, I'd get onto sales calls, I'd use outreach to do that. But the thing is, people didn't trust me and they didn't know me. So most of the call was just me like explaining why they should be on the call, what I do and reminding them of like why they booked in the first place. And that is not the state you want to be in if you really want to scale up. So. As soon as I started posting content, even basic stuff on LinkedIn, just like text posts, people got into calls and they were ready to buy, right? I didn't have to do any selling. People watched my content, they consumed it over hours and hours without me having to do anything. And they'd get onto calls and they'd be ready to buy. And this is how the biggest names in the space are really scaling up. Like, I'm sure you can imagine the big names in the agency space. And if you really think about it, it's like, why are they the big names? Because of content. You know, if Eman wasn't posting on YouTube every like every week for five years, would he be where he is now? Who knows? So before I posted content, I used to think I had a sales problem. I used to think I couldn't sell. But the thing is, I actually had a marketing problem, not a sales problem. Because content is just sales at scale. So by fixing my marketing, by posting content, that fixed my sales. So I wasn't actually bad at sales, I just didn't have great marketing. So at this point, you probably are aware that content is you know, pretty much what you need to scale your agency in 2023 and beyond. So now I want to recommend what I think you could do if you're just starting out with content, if you're sending outreach now, or if you're even not sending outreach. So no matter what service you're offering, no matter what industry you're in, you can talk about what you're already doing and what you're already good at. The biggest problem that I see, and I'm no expert of course, but the biggest problem that I see is that people are talking about things that they haven't done before. So if you're talking about how to create a billionaire's morning routine and you know, you're not a billionaire, then people aren't going to trust you because they're going to ask, why should I listen to him as opposed to the actual billionaire? So the biggest lesson that I learned was just to talk on what I've done. So I don't talk about, you know, how to build the best business in the world. I talk about how to book meetings with cold email for my marketing agency or how to sign clients because I do that every single day. And that builds a lot of trust and it also means they can't question your success. So if you're already sending outreach, start content. Start by whatever you're comfortable with, whether that's posting on LinkedIn every single day, on YouTube every couple of days, but really just focus on providing value. And it's that simple. Just talk about things you've already done and just put it out there. People will find it and people will resonate if it's valuable. However, if you are not sending outreach, I'd actually recommend starting with outreach before you start with content because content, as you know, it's a long-term play. It takes time to actually build up that compound interest of trust built and you know, your audience. So if you need to sign clients fast, if you need to book meetings now, start with outreach. 
right? And that can run automatically in the background. And I, you know, I have tons of videos explaining how to do that, but you can pretty much book meetings on autopilot. And while that's running, while that's set up, then you can create content, you know, while you have the time and while you actually have money coming in or clients coming in. So again, start with whatever you're comfortable with and just talk about what you're doing. It can be that simple. Whatever you're learning at this point, just post about it. And you're gonna build an audience and you're gonna build so much trust. But if you do reach out to them, they're gonna know you already, they're gonna like you already, they're gonna trust you already, and they'll be ready to buy and ready to get onto a call. And it's really that easy. So really start as soon as you can. Right, so if you want more videos like this, explaining how to book meetings, sign clients, grow your agency, I'll recommend two of my best ones right here.